Walls are in the pursuit of the perfect posture. We cannot overemphasize the importance of posture and efficiency in cycling. An aerodynamic posture, where the body is aligned in a way that reduces air resistance, is essential to lower the effort required by the rider. This, in turn, leads to improved speed and endurance, making it much easier to cover long distances with less fatigue. While it is true that an aero-shaped frame can help to reduce drag, it pales in comparison to the benefits of an aerodynamic posture. The human body accounts for up to 80% of the total drag experienced by a bike rider. This means that the posture of the rider is far more critical in reducing drag than the design of the bike frame. An aerodynamic posture can reduce drag by up to 50%, which is a substantial improvement in efficiency. By tucking in the elbows, lowering the head, and keeping the back straight, the rider can reduce their frontal area and present a narrower profile to the wind. This results in less air resistance and less effort required to maintain speed. I had to choose between an aero-shaped frame and an aerodynamic posture, I would pick an aerodynamic posture every time. The performance value per dollar spent is far higher with improving rider posture. The correct posture can be achieved with minor adjustments to the bike setup, while aero frames can cost thousands of dollars. An aerodynamic posture is critical to improving cycling performance. Rather than obsessing over the design of the bike frame, cyclists should focus on optimizing their posture to reap the most significant efficiency gains. Remember, the human body is where significant improvements can be made in reducing drag and improving performance.